Okay, so um, what we're going to do is we're going to be um, showing you how to calibrate the laser to the machine so that the uh, laser is parallel to, in this case, the 3900. And uh, to do that, we've set up a course here. It could be about 100 feet long. Uh, you're going to have a midway point. It could be 40 paces with a midway point at 20. It could be whatever. But uh, you just have a length and a midway point. That's the important thing. So the first thing we want to do is walk the machine along the line, just keeping using the uh, nozzle as our guide, just to be sure that the, uh, that the machine is running parallel to the string. And, and we are. So it doesn't take long, maybe five or eight feet. So the next thing we want to do is come over to the laser, turn the laser on, oops, and uh, get the laser on our target. We set our target at the far end, uh, in this case it's down about 100 feet, and what I want to do is adjust it to the target. But before I do that, I want to make sure that the bullseye bubble, not the bullseye bubble, but this level bubble on the laser is pretty level, so that when I plunge the laser down, I'll be plunging a straight line. So, um, let's go back to the target and adjust the laser to the very center of the target, just like that, and lock it in. Yeah, it looks about right, right there. All right, so the next step is we're going to plunge the laser down and we're gonna get our gun directly under the laser. And in this case, <clears throat> I can see that I'm pretty far off, so I want to run the gun in like that, so that the uh, you you can see the laser here on my hand, and that looks pretty good right about there. Okay, and then lock it in. Okay, the next step is we want to get our gun directly over our line like this. Adjust the laser back up and we're going to get then put the laser beam on the target. So you know, get yourself, okay there's the laser on the target and my gun is pretty much directly over my string line it looks like at this point. So now I'm just going to start walking and the key here is do not look at the gun just keep your focus on the target at the far end and when you get to your halfway point uh, that's when we're going to see if we have an error so right now I'm walking keeping the laser in the center of the target as much as possible and by the way you're doing this with the engine off you probably noticed okay so I'm coming up on about my halfway point here in about 10 feet, carefully keeping it on the center of the target. And there I am. Well, in this case, geez, I don't think I need to make any adjustment. I'm, I'm still right over my line. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'll just walk it to be sure to the far end, right to the far target. Let's just see how close we are when we get there. Yeah, I'm still directly over it. So, uh, in this case, we didn't have to calibrate it. It's just it happened the very first time. So I'm going to back up and let's create an error so that you can actually see how to calibrate this unit. So we're going to go back to the starting point again and do it over again. Alright, so we're going to go through the calibration procedure again. Same situation. You know, it's about 100 feet. Um, I'm going to walk my machine along the line. Make sure it's in parallel with the line. Okay, I'm pretty good there. So again, we come over to the laser, we check to make sure our bubble's close to level. We're going to aim the laser to our far point, which is our target, about 100 feet down line. Alright, there it is. It's on the center of our target. Now I'm going to plunge the laser and get the gun again 
underneath the laser, which means, why don't you create a little shaft, that's good, right there, okay, and that's, I'm about good right there, so now we'll adjust the rig uh, to the line with a gun over the line and the laser on the target. Okay, laser's on the target. It's pretty good on the line. And I'm going to start walking it. It's, yeah, that is pretty good. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to walk it to the halfway point and see how it looks. Okay, coming up on my halfway point, it's about 10 feet away. Careful to keep the laser on the target. Again, I'm not looking at my gun, I'm just looking at the laser on the target. And there, that's about centered right there. Okay, I'm, get it on. I'm a little bit off. I'm gonna guess that I'm about an inch and a half, almost two inches off. So what I'm going to do now is adjust my target, the laser to the target, in the same direction, two inches. So we're going to offset it two inches. That's We're close to it. That's about it right there. And we'll go back to our starting point and see if we've uh, taken the error out. And get my gun over my string, which it is, or over my line. Look pretty good. All right, I'm going to start walking. Just walk to the halfway point. Now there's no running in and out of the bar. There's none of that. Is all you're doing is you're taking out all your error just on the target itself. And usually you can do it in one or two passes. As you saw from the first one, we did it in zero pass. And I'd say that we're looking good right here. That's directly over. So this unit's calibrated, and we've illustrated how to calibrate it with a laser on the front.